Okay, I wanted to share with you this big old Victorian that we had bought last year and decided to fix it up. As you can see, it's still a pretty good looking home. It just needs some care, such as the front steps, they need new railing. There's a view of the elementary school. And there's the porch, which isn't too shabby. The front door could use some work. And you see the overhead foyer light that we had put in. Well, Craig put it in, but it kind of adds to the charm. And then the lovely woodwork of the staircase and the pillars leading to the front room are so pretty. I'm going to paint the front room a light blue, but I'm going to leave the pillars alone because they're lovely just as they are, even though I may paint them white because that's just a very pretty look. I'm going to try to take these uh, wood panels off of the walls and see what's underneath. See if I need to repair the wall before painting it. I probably do. It's probably old plaster. You can see there's plaster parts of the ceiling that need to be repaired. And there's an ugly old light fixture <laughs> that needs to be taken out. There is some sliding pocket doors here. And I don't know how to correct their functioning, but you can move them. But it just takes some effort and you have to pull from the bottom, so... They're probably not hooked up to the top as they should be. And all this wood paneling is going to come down in the formal dining room, of course. Mainly I've been working on the kitchen. I need to take out that old cabinet make way for an island. And then to the side here is the little room which I'd like to make into a shower. And here's a little nook that I'm not sure why it was put in. <laughs> and a little half bath. I think that there needs to be a shower on the first floor as well. There's a working bathroom on the second floor. And there's a lovely old brick fireplace right there that really adds to the kitchen. And the fireplace is from the parlor. The parlor's here. So it needs a new floor. It has those stick-on tiles that are peeling up. And then I'm going to put the electric insert in the fireplace to kind of solve the problem of the fireplace. <laughs> and then there's some inexpensive paintings I got from an auction. They were only about $2 each. The one over the fireplace isn't that high quality, but the one under glass it was a very lovely pastel high quality. The stairs lead down to the basement, so we're just going to shut up that door. And we're going to go upstairs. That's how you turn on the stairway lights. And that, in turn, turns on the light upstairs. So there's another light at the top of the stairs. There's a pretty view. And there's a doorway that cuts off the front or the second floor. So I don't know if I'm gonna move that doorway somewhere else. It's pretty. There's a bunch of kids' bedrooms up here. So here's the first Barney one. Purple and green. So this must have been a, a fun kid that lived here. And then here's a closet which leads to 
another closet through this little air vents. The roof is brand new. So that's good. I don't have to deal with further ceiling damage. I want to show you this closet. It has a broom closet that is within a regular closet. That is so neat. The realtor Deb, she showed us this feature. Which I think that's really clever. Definitely going to leave that. Here's the second child's bedroom. And that's a boarded up window, so I don't know what I'm going to turn it into. Maybe some shelves. And the register leaked onto the carpet. I guess you have to keep it pressurized and to prevent it from leaking. And there's the closet leading to the first closet. Go out to the hallway here. This is the second bathroom. The tub's not bad, so I'm gonna leave the tub. I'm definitely gonna get rid of the vanity. And also the toilet has a crack in it. I gotta get rid of the toilet. Luckily, I know how to replace the toilet. Lucky me, huh? <laughs> you can see the vanity is bad. Gotta replace that guy. And here is an old telephone that they still have hooked up. I think that's kind of fun. This is a bedroom with a closet. It looks like it used to be kind of a parlor for the second floor, but they converted it into a bedroom. You can see where they walled it up right there. And then there's our little bat friend. <laughs> I should be sure and close all the windows so that the bats can't get back in. They don't bug me, I won't bug them, I guess. There's another children's bedroom. Previous owners must have had a ton of children. Here's one of those registers. And some fancy artwork from times past. here to the hallway and you can see this old raggedy carpeting but underneath it is the wood floors that are just aching to be refinished by me or somebody <laughs> here's the addition you can see that the view is gorgeous it's kind of a funky shiplack ceiling and this is something I like. It's a laundry on the second floor. So you don't have to carry your basket up and down the floors like that. There's the hookups. What I don't like is this door leading to nowhere. <laughs> it got walled up already. So I'm just going to have to wall it up from the inside as well. So I'm going back here, and this is the entry staircase to the attic. This house just keeps going and going and going. You can see that the wood staircase isn't in too poor of shape. The walls could use some help here. <laughs> but the attic is pretty decent. 
It's a good size and it looks like they used it to store all sorts of supplies. So, I think it used to be kind of a playhouse for kids up here. There's a map on the wall. Fun little kids hang out at one time. And then you can see there's a lot of wood trim, old windows, things like that that are up here that I will definitely put to use. that's basically it. There's a whole lot of potential here so I hope that it won't take me too long to do this. I'm gonna go work on it today. Work more on the kitchen. It's my first project. So thanks for joining me on the little tour of my ginormous haunted mansion. Thanks for watching.